happier than others. Amen? But the Bible said you must take up your own cross whatever you're going through. I don't know what you're going through, but you got to do it like Christ did. But I come to tell you, your, your cross ain't heavier than Christ's cross. Because he carried the cross of the whole entire world. You just carrying your own cross. Amen? I can't carry your cross and you can't carry my cross. But I come to tell you, I must be obedient and carry my own cross. My own suffering. My own going through. I can't point my fingers. I can't model my life after your life. I can see a great marriage and I can say, oh, that's a great marriage. Oh, I wish my marriage was like that. No, God said, no, you must take up your cross because your marriage ain't going to be like their marriage. Your marriage is going to be your marriage. So you got to go through what you got to go through. Can somebody hear me on that? Everybody cross is different. Some of us got cancer. Some of us got high blood. That's your cross. That's your cross. That's your suffering. We all got to go through it. But the Bible says at the end, there's something waiting for us. There's something waiting for us. Martin Luther, Martin Luther King said, I, I, I seen, I seen the promised land. God took him to another elevated place in the spirit. And he said, I, I, I may not get there with you, but I've seen the promised land. There's a better place than this. My present suffering it is no comparison to what awaits me in glory. What I'm going through today is no comparison to what God has for me. Streets paved with gold, amen. A place where there's no need for sun no more because the glory of God dwells in it, amen. A place where I will cry no more. No more crying. No more weeping. No more gnashing of teeth. No more, no more sorrow. There's a place that God has prepared for me, but guess what? I gotta go through. I gotta go through. And so what I do is I present my body as a living sacrifice. May not feel good. Oh, a sacrifice, saints of God, I come to tell you. Don't feel good. Don't feel good when people come in and out of your life. Don't, they don't feel good when people talk about you, criticize you. It doesn't feel good when, 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 you, when you need help and nobody else is there to help you. It doesn't feel good. It does, I come to tell you, it don't feel good. But, but, but when, when you got these scriptures in your heart, and you know what Jesus did for you. You see, see, see. For some of us, uh, right now, we 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 can't receive it right. But it's the word. It's the word, and it applies to every area of this present day. Grab hold of the word. Live it. In spite of your feelings. Look at somebody saying, "In spite of your feelings." In spite of what you're going through. Keep focused. Understand it's for His glory. Understand it's your testimony. We always quote, and I'm going to close. We always quote, we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. But how many of you know where that was written at? Thank you. It was written in the book of Revelation. And it was written about those that had overcome. Sister Coburn quoted the scripture. She said, the race is not given to the swift nor the strong, but the ones who endure to the end. I know it gets heavy sometimes. I know it hurts sometimes. I know sometimes we feel like throwing in the towel and saying, it ain't even worth it. But God is saying, don't throw in the towel. Stand. When you've done everything that you can do, stand. Stand in there for girding yourself with the helmet of salvation. Putting on the breastplate of righteousness. Shrouding your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Girding your loins with truth. Holding up the shield of faith. Most of all, taking up the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. If we can do that, saints of God, I don't care what you're going through. I don't care how you feel. Feelings must always align with faith 
and it must always align with truth. Truth is God's word. Faith is your faith in God's word, in truth. And emotions is the caboose that comes afterwards. Doesn't matter how you feel. Your feelings, it's great to have good feelings, happy feelings or sad feelings, but always put your emotions and line your emotions up with, with, your, with your faith and make sure your faith is aligned up with truth. Because if not, it'll be a mess, amen? So let's live a life that is holy and acceptable unto God. Present your body as a living sacrifice. We don't like to go through no more. It's easy to quit. How many know it's easy to quit? It's easy to give up. It's easy, me and my, me and my daughter, and I'm gonna close on this note, we were, I, was, I was helping Christina ride her bike. She took the training wheels off. And she was wearing me out, saints. And, and, and I want you to see this in the spirit. She was wearing me out. I'm talking about I'm running all up and down the street. I'm holding on to my knees saying, come on, you can do it. And I'm, and I'm getting mad. I told you to balance. I told, and I'm getting frustrated. And, and, and you know, you're trying to talk in a lot loving, kind voice. See it in the spirit, saint. See it in the spirit. And I'm trying to talk in a loving, kind voice, but I'm getting frustrated because she's not listening. And she's getting frustrated because the more I get frustrated, the more she gets frustrated. And all of a sudden, I, 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 and then she looked at me, and, I, and she got tears in her eyes. I said, Daddy, I don't want to do it no more. I said, well, then go in the house, then. <laughs> go in the house. And then Stephanie said, said, she says, Daddy, I'll give it a try. So I got Stephanie out there. Two minutes, Stephanie had it. She rolling. Christina, come back out there. I said, you ready to do it again? She said, yes, Dad, I'm ready to do it again. I said, come on, man. And she looked at Stephanie. I see it in the spirit. She looked at Stephanie. She looked at what she was doing. She listened to me. Next thing you know, two minutes, she was rolling. And they both was riding their bike, amen? And on this journey, we're going to get frustrated with each other sometimes. We're going to get frustrated. We're going to feel like quitting sometimes. Sometimes you got to take a break. Amen. Take a break. Get back in the game again. That's why in boxing you have rounds. Amen. You got rounds. Don't think you're going to last all the You got to take a break sometime. Regroup. Amen. Regroup. Get back in there again. Amen. Because God wants to be glorified in your life. He wants to be glorified in your relationships. He wants to be glorified in your marriages. Can we give God some praise on that? He wants to be glorified in your, how you treat your children. He wants to be glorified in every aspect of your life. He wants to be glorified in your churches. He wants to be glorified in your callings, in your anointings. He wants to be glorified in all of that. Amen? So on that note, we just want, 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 want to just thank God for what He's doing in our lives. Amen?